Watch our team coverage of the heat and humidity continues. Kids are on summer vacation and many of them want to spend time outside. So what can parents do to protect their kids from the heat? Joining me now to talk more about this, Dr. Michelle McKee, Division Head of Emergency Medicine at Connecticut Children's. Dr. McKee, thank you so much for being with us. A pleasure to join you. Thank you. So I have two little girls and as soon as they get home in the afternoon, they want to head outside. Is that OK with weather like this? Sure, you know, children, they need normal activity, they need normal exercise. There are a few things that you can do to make sure that your children and all children are safe when they go outside. Making sure that they're well hydrated before you even get outside, plain water suffices. And then dressing them in clothing that's lightweight and light in color. And that will also help make sure that they don't get overheated too quickly. What should you be looking for in terms of warning signs or symptoms? Say the kids have been out there for a while and you're worried, are they possibly experiencing heat exhaustion? What should you be looking out for as a parent? Heat exhaustion can manifest in several different ways. It might be more subtle, especially in older children. They might not tell you that they're lightheaded or dizzy or have a headache. So watch for fussy and irritability in younger children, especially infants and toddlers, but they're not necessarily going to be able to communicate that as clearly. If you think their activity has taken a sharp decrease in how well they're playing outside, that's a good sign it's time to come in for a water break. What should you do and how do you know whether this is a situation where, hey, cool off inside, grab some water, grab an ice pop, or we need to go to the hospital, we need to see a doctor. How do you determine the difference between the two? So talk to your children and look at how well they're functioning. If they can answer all of your questions well, and they seem to be able to walk well, talk well, do all their normal activities, maybe a slight bit slower than normal if you're overheated, um, but if they can recover with just inside hydration and cooling off in the cool environment within 30 minutes, then I'd say it's safe, safe to stay at home. If they're not recovering quickly or you have other concerns that their body actually feels very hot, a temperature of 104 or higher, or they're no longer sweating, those are clear-cut indications that you're about to come into the Connecticut Children's Emergency Department. All right, some very, very good advice as these summer months bring on the heat. Dr. Michelle McKee, thank you so much for being with us. My pleasure. Take care.